guys, I'm Kang Yong Longas. And I am V. Welcome to Asian at Home. <laughs> <laughs> Almost made, we made it. I think, I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. So today, as you can see, V is right here. My friend. Okay, she is a freaking amazing cook, and finally, she is releasing her secret of the freaking amazing, delicious, the bomba way recipe. Yep. Did they pronounce it right? No. Bumba hue. Bumba hue. Well, I guess it just depends on which area. Bumba hue. You just gotta do the boom boom hue. Boom boom hue. B is going to show you how to make this amazing bumba hue. Yep. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so let's get started. So I believe we are going to cook the tendon first. Yes. Because right. that part takes the longest, so we have to get that into the pot first thing. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the pot with uh, cold water mm -hmm. and then bring it to a boil. We're gonna pretty much do a hard boil, like a high boil the whole time. Mm -hmm. So that takes about three to three and a half hours just Whoa. for that. Yeah, That's in a, a small hour. pot, you know? Okay. So it depends on how much tendon you're cooking. While tendon is cooking, we are going to prep our beef buns for the main broth, right? Yes. So pretty much for um, Bung Mo Hui, you use all beef bones. So you can choose any type of beef, bone, beef bones that you want, from neck bones to knuckle bones to back bones, beef ribs. But today we're going to use um, pretty much the whole um, neck bone. That's what we found at the store today. So we're going to use all neck bones. So the first thing we're going to do with the beef bones, we are going to part boil while, yes. while we are doing that. Yes, because uh, we want to get rid of all the residues and everything because it can get pretty muggy and dirty and we really want it to contain a very clear broth. Once it comes to a hard rolling boil, just boil for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. And then after that, dump it all out. Wash all the bones mm -hmm. and then wash the pot mm -hmm. and then we're going to set up a new pot of brand new water. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bring a pot of water, about 28 cups for about 6 pounds of beef and then we're going to um, bring that to boil. When you bring that pot to the stove, you want to add in a pineapple. Not everybody put pineapple into their bung hoi. It's kind of almost like a little secret. Some people know these secrets, but um, it makes, it tenderize the meat for one. So that's why our bung bong hoi cooks in like about two hours versus like two, three, four hours. Mm. And then it makes the broth really nice and it has a little citrus taste to it, which is like pretty a good. fruity. Yeah, fruity. Yeah, I would say citrus. Mm -hmm. With the lemon And grass. then it's surprising that everybody always like, oh, I wonder what's in your broth that's so good. Mm -hmm. That's the secret the pineapple. Right so pretty much with the lemongrass, we're gonna go ahead and remove the top part and mm -hmm. you know cut off the stem or the, or the bottom of the stalk. We're gonna smash it mm -hmm. and then we're gonna pile them all together into one big bundle, tie them up. Mm -hmm. So that way it'll be ready to go and it won't be floating all over the, everywhere in the pot. Mm, and it will be really easy to remove later yeah, too. Yeah, with the onions, you peel everything out. Yeah, we drop the whole onion into the water and then the ginger about, probably like about a slice, about half of a, our hand, uh -huh. you know? It's depending on how big your hand. My hand yeah, I know my hands is pretty big too. <laughs> oh, your hands is big too? <laughs> I know my hands are yeah. pretty big. I've always had big hands. <laughs> so yeah, so once all that is in the pot, we want to go ahead and bring it to boil. Try to skim whatever you can, um, all the residues. And then we're gonna go ahead and simmer it for on medium for about two to two and a half hours. Oh, and we forgot to uh, mention that we seasoned it with some salt and oh, chili yes. powder. Oh yes, that's right. So in the pot, while that's going to simmer, mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna add in about one tablespoon of the chicken um, powder, mm -hmm. and then also about three to four teaspoons of salt. So already two pots going on on the stove, and we have one more pot to cook. Yeah, we're gonna bring another small pot because mm -hmm. we're gonna start cooking the pork blood. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. No, a lot of you probably like, oh, I don't know the blood. <laughs> it's Asian chocolate. <laughs> Just tell your kids that. <laughs> it's chocolate. It's Asian chocolate. Yeah. Cook the uh, pork blood in order to prevent any honeycombs, which are the, like the holes in the pork blood. You want to cook it low and slow. And then I also drop a piece of ginger in there to kind of get rid of any kind of yucky smell that you don't mm -hmm. like, you know, associated oh, with yeah, pork from blood. The blood. Yeah. So once you place it in the cold water into the pot, bring it to the stove. Mm -hmm. You want to bring it to a boil real quick and then turn it down to like medium. We're pretty much like low almost and like cook it for about 45 minutes. Um, after that, you go ahead and you can strain it, mm -hmm. drain it, wash it, whatever. And then you know, um, you want to go ahead and place it in the fridge so mm -hmm. that way it could firm up because uh -huh. once it's firm, it's a lot easier to slice. To slice yeah. it. So you also want to uh, prepare the meatballs. This is special bumbo way. 
Very special. Yeah. Because um, normally when you have it at the restaurant or so, you get the Vietnamese ham, which is yeah, like called jia. Yeah. So they just jia, like jia, jia, jia. No, it's just jia. The Vietnamese classic. Yeah. You know, this is like a lot more rustic where you're actually making the meatballs yourself, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And then you just drop it in. So it's like rustic boom ball way. Eh? So all of a sudden, my, my meatball brings out the boys to the yard. <laughs> Damn right. It's Damn better than, than yours. yours. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting off track here, but that's, it's okay. Our <laughs> nose. <laughs> Okay, what's next? Okay, the sauce. No, you didn't explain. How okay. To make oh, the meatball. The meatball. Okay. So to make the meatballs, you um in a bowl, we're gonna mix um the Vietnamese ham, which is uncooked. It's a loaf of ham. Uh, jia sông, jia mm -hmm. luo sông, ja, right? Jia luo sông. Yeah, which you can get at like a lot of the Vietnamese uh, sandwich shops and stuff, mm -hmm. and Vietnamese or Chinese stores. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna mix one loaf to mm -hmm. every quarter pound of ground pork. Okay. or up to half a pound of ground pork, whatever okay. you like, you know? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna mix the raw ham, lots of black pepper, the ground pork, some garlic, mm -hmm. some chopped shallots, chopped onions, green mm -hmm. onions, mm -hmm. bumbo hoi seasoning, which uh -huh. contains like paprika, uh, garlic powder and all that stuff, a little sugar, some fish sauce. We'll mix that all together by hand, so mm -hmm. let's get it all in there, incorporate it, and then we'll just put that aside until the very end, so that way we'll cook it once the Ooh. broth. Baking powder. Oh, yeah. Ha! <laughs> and then, you know, a couple of teaspoons of baking powder. So until we add it into the soup, you need to uh, cover it and keep it in the refrigerator. Yeah. So meanwhile, so I think our protein is all down. The tendon, the, the beef bone, blood, mm -hmm. and the meatballs. Dang, it's a lot of protein. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a lot of work that goes into this dish, right? I think if you want to make it really simplified, so you mm -hmm. can just use only beef bones. Yeah. And meatballs, maybe yeah. mm -hmm. something like that, because kind of make it simplified and yeah. more easier to make and stuff like that. Yep. Okay. So our all our protein is done. So mm -hmm. now we are going to start to making the beef secret sauce, the secret red sauce. Oh, the satay. <laughs> <laughs> not very, not a big secret, but oh, you know, sorry, not yeah. Secret. So pretty much this sauce goes into every bung bao hui. You know, mm -hmm. it's just like one of the thing that just goes with it that makes it that red color. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. contains um, lemongrass, chopped lemongrass. Mm -hmm. You you know, explain how you make it. <laughs> you heat a little saucepan. Oh, damn, oh. we gotta go into that detail. <laughs> yes. So with, you heat a, a little saucepan over medium heat. Yes, with some oil, mm -hmm. cooking oil. Of course, you know you want to put in the shallots first because it takes the longest. Mm -hmm. And then from the shallot, then you put in the lemongrass. Mm -hmm. And then you want to. How do you know when the shallot is ready to absorb the lemongrass? Well, when you look at it, it's almost like it doesn't look extra wet. Wet. Like, you know, when you first mm -hmm. chop up shallots, it still has that wet look to it. Then you add in the lemongrass, you mm -hmm. stir that for another minute or two. And then you add in the garlic. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you can actually turn off the heat because now we're going to start adding in crushed red chili flakes. Oh, okay. If you like it spicy. In the um, bumbo hui seasoning, which uh -huh. contains like paprika, uh, garlic powder and all that stuff, and you don't want it to burn. So from there, you can add in fish sauce also. And then, mm -hmm. you know, just go ahead and um, leave it on the side. Let yeah. it cool down until it's ready to use. Right now, we have a little time because mm -hmm. the soup and meats are still need to boil a little while. Yeah. So maybe we start to prepping. go ahead and prep all the garnishes. Yeah. And you know what, bung wao is, this is very basic. It just depends on what you like. Mm -hmm. Like here in California, like we grew up eating it with cabbage because that's what's served at mm -hmm. a lot of the restaurants. Mm -hmm. But typically in Vietnam, it's served with banana blossom, which is mm -hmm. also banana flower. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, with some, a little cilantro, a little yellow onions, um, you know, and that's very basic. And then, you know, with banana blossom, it's a little bit more trickier because it turns uh, brown very fast. Mm -hmm. So before cutting the banana blossom, you want to prepare like a bowl of of, um, water and have a lime ready because the lime, the citrus, is gonna go ahead and prevent it from turning brown. So the minute that you slice, start slicing that banana blossom, mm -hmm. it has to go into that water like instantly for it to stay. Did I just snap my finger? <laughs> you did. So the banana. You did it like yeah. Diva. <laughs> 
you want that banana blossom to go directly <laughs> into the water so that way it could stay the lime that pretty water. yeah the lime water so that way it could stay that pretty vibrant yellow instead mm -hmm. of brown i normally would just keep it in that water until it's almost time for serving mm -hmm. and then by that time all that citrus is absorbed into that banana flower so it mm -hmm. keeps it like a very nice color Good. still vietnamese coriander mm -hmm. it's just we call it like the plucking style usually you know the very tip instead of pulling the leaf out individually mm -hmm. we just pretty much clip it at the very top and then like you know and then from the bottom on then we pull just the leaf by itself pretty much <laughs> stop looking at the note <laughs> i'm trying to study stop looking at it. your own recipe hold it like this <laughs> we're not there's nothing to hide <laughs> by the time we're done with prepping everything the broth should almost be ready as well 30 yeah. minutes to go yeah so it'll be like about two and two and a half hours by then mm -hmm. then that's when you can go ahead and pull out the lemongrass you can pull out the pineapple the onions everything and you can just toss all that mm -hmm. and then we're gonna pull out the beef shank so don't forget that yeah the beef Take shank the yeah beef it should shank be, out. you don't want to overcook that yeah it should be very tender by now mm -hmm. and then um we want to go ahead and cover it up and refrigerate it so that way it can firm up mm -hmm. it'll be easier to slice so we're gonna start seasoning the stock pot mm -hmm. and then we're gonna season it with salt six tablespoons of fish sauce um hoi seasoning i added about two tablespoons of that tablespoons. yeah so two to four two to three tablespoons so however how much you like sugar normally is some rock sugar but since we didn't have that today the mm -hmm. sugar work fine as well it's, mm -hmm. it's totally fine so about one and a half tablespoons to two tablespoons of sugar to yes. your taste yes the red satay sauce that we had put on the side earlier mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is when we're going to go ahead and drop it into the pot mm -hmm. and then stir it all around and this is when you get that nice pretty red fragrant film uh -huh. you know on top and, of your and pot. that's that's the look that i remember as a bumble way yeah and like for 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 myself when i cook that i try not to add that in at the beginning some people just drop it in and let mm -hmm. it simmer and simmer but like to me i feel like it loses its um, smell of lemongrass mm -hmm. when you put it in too early so if you put it in towards the end you know it's, it's a lot more fragrant that way mm -hmm. so now i think it's time to drop some meatballs yep so at this point you want to go ahead and turn up your pot to about a rolling medium mm -hmm. medium heat and then we're going to start forming the balls mm -hmm. like in about i think about one inch huh so once you drop it in it it might appear really big because it's like bloated almost mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and then of course it shrinks down after you add the meatballs mm -hmm. with the seasoning it's gonna be keep simmering about 30 minutes more yeah. the meatball will fully cook mm -hmm. the soup has a little time to absorb all the flavors and melting all together yep once you add in the meatball and all the meatball starts floating to the top you mm -hmm. want to go ahead and turn down the fire mm -hmm. to probably like a very low so that way you can cook the noodles cooking this thick rice noodle is kind of tricky it is because it's, it's noodles for Bung Bao Wei and it's probably pretty much the thickest noodle out yeah. of all the noodles. It's just extra large. Yeah, and even though the package states that it cooks about 12 minutes, but it took us almost like 19, 20 minutes for it to 25 cook. 25 minutes. 25 minutes? 25 Ooh. minutes. Yeah, 25 minutes for it to cook down to the perfect consistency to where it's not hard in the inside anymore, mm -hmm. you know? So is it, even, even though you're following the directions to cook the Bung Bao Wei noodles, you still need to kind of taste it mm -hmm. if it's like all the way soft yeah. you don't you're not looking for like al dente like the pasta yeah. cook the noodles and you drain mm -hmm. and then you rinse under the cold water okay that's normal to me because mm -hmm. we do that a lot in korea too yeah but you are drying the noodles a little bit like yeah. let it sit yeah for a while yeah with rice noodle you want it to let it sit for at least a good 15 minutes so you know pretty much all that water can drain out because when the noodles wet and then you place it in the bowl and you pour broth over it right away mm -hmm. that broth would just slip right off of it you know it's not mm -hmm. going to hold on to the it's not going to cling on to the noodle to where it has flavors uh -huh. so once the noodle is aired out dried up a little bit then all that sauce would be able to cling on and then it that's where it gives it more flavor and it's more flavorful that way show us how to assemble the beautiful looking bum bow way bowl of a bum 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 bow way <laughs> bum bow way <laughs> bum bow way yeah so in a bowl you want to go ahead and assemble the noodles first of mm -hmm. course arrange your meat in there from the pork blood to the tendons to the shank shank yeah place it all in there and then of course ladle over the broth with yeah. the meatballs and the beef neck buns all the goodness all whatever you want yeah. put it all in there yeah, put it all right? in there you're like a parrot <laughs> you're like a parrot <laughs> 
add in all your condiments as far as your garnishing and then your spicy uh, <laughs> chili oil. Chili and oil. you know, at this point, you can add in shrimp paste. Uh -huh. um, usually, shrimp paste is cooked in the pot, but because if you want to. yeah, because we're we we didn't want the whole pot to sink up, so we ended up. No, I shouldn't say that because people were like what stink? What you know? You're Vietnamese. Yes. And you think shrimp uh, paste is stink? Mm -hmm. You're not real Vietnamese. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> You didn't add the shrimp paste because you're allergic to the shrimp too. Yeah. And we want to enjoy it together. Exactly. All I that can, hard can... work, come on, I'm not going to starve. Exactly. <laughs> that is so <laughs> You also want to serve alongside like condiment of a bowl of fish sauce and mm -hmm. like some chopped up Thai chili. Mm -hmm. Very common for Vietnamese, um, you know, table. So. so that's for like for spiciness or mm -hmm. for more salty seasoning kind of thing. Yeah. And of course, we love the hot chili oil. So we buy that at the store. <laughs> Like, that say super hot. It's, it's, it's really spicy. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but it's really spicy. <laughs> I know. <first> of all, <laughs> I, I didn't expect it to be that spicy yeah. at all. But that's Thai though, isn't it? Mm, yeah, it's Thai. Yeah, the Thai people, they eat, <laughs> they eat a lot of spice. This house smell like bomba way. Yep. Get this overload. Yes. Yeah. And we have the whole meatball too. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. How you look so good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, she's opening her restaurant in Sacramento. <laughs> Tell us about it. <laughs> a pokey restaurant. Mm. But there's going to be more than just pokey, okay, you guys? So <laughs> if you're in the Sacramento area, please stop by. <laughs> People are talking about your boiling water. <laughs> your boiling water is something you have to taste before they die. <laughs> Now they're really gonna go to the, the restaurant and ask for my boiling water. Her food is so good. People are talking about her boiling water is tasty. <laughs> Stop it. This is the best bomboy I ever had or like the best Vietnamese noodle soup I've ever had. Mm. Thank you. That's mm. very nice coming from you. It means a lot. I love this meatball. Mm. So you say the meatball is actually from your friend, mm -hmm. Mimi? Mm -hmm. I make this type of meatballs too, mm -hmm. but I've always add shrimp with it, you know? Mm -hmm. But then Mimi, she makes it straight from pork. Thanks, Mimi. <laughs> There's so many textures and the flavor going on. And this banana leaf, bana banana leaf. Mm -hmm. Banana blossom, mm -hmm. flower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. The tendon cooks it perfectly. And it tastes good and we're standing up eating. I've never stood up and ate a bowl of noodles before. <laughs> yeah. Some people say like, you should just sit down and eat. Just now you know how much work moving the cameras and the lights and changing mm -hmm. the things. That's why we are just doing this because it eats your lungs. It's a lot of work. If you like the beef bombo way recipe, please give us thumbs up. Or maybe you should say bombo way one more time for us. Bombo way. Bombo way. Bombo way. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching us today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house. Making, Making it easy, easy and fun. I'm Songgyung Longas. And I'm B. And this <laughs> is Asian at Home. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. I got this down. Bye. 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 Okay. I start. You start. No, you start. So let's start. Okay, we got six pounds of beef bones. <laughs> Fix the hair. Of salt. We, we added a pine nut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beef neck bones. <laughs> yeah, beef neck bones. <laughs> okay, so open all the windows all, to the walls. The it's going to stink up all your walls. <laughs> Here's our nose. <laughs>
in a mixing bowl. Uh, <laughs> you're <talking laughs> it's a family show. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family show. A loaf of uncooked ham. Oh, let me see, uncooked loaf of ham. See, I'm not the only one who's struggling <laughs> with English, but I'm trying to explain stuff. We're right? both bobs. <laughs> <laughs> Just from different countries. <laughs> so we add... <laughs> I know. Was, oh. We we started at 11 a.m. grocery shopping. Started cooking at 1 p.m. Uh -huh. Now it's like 10:30. Hey, I need to pay you <laughs> for real. <It's> overtime, please. <laughs> I know, right? But you know what? I gotta give all you YouTubers major, major props because how everything is set up. And like, you know, it's not as easy as just standing in front of a kitchen and just like cooking and talking. Totally different, especially the way that we're recording this video today. It's, it's, full, it's a full-time job, I believe it. Full-time job. Yeah. <laughs> so you can <laughs> watch the ads. Exactly. Not skip it, watch the ads. <laughs> Unless it's a scary one. I'm such a stalker. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs>